The feature race at Hampton Downs, race three for the famous New Zealand Motor Cup. The two M2 competition men were desperate to win it, for sure from pole, and alongside him is teammate Marcus Armstrong of New Zealand. Side by side to the first corner, but try as he might, round the outside, Armstrong had to let for sure go through. Good start from Schwartzman as well, as Armstrong had to defend to hold his position. Novolak, winner of race two and bouncing over the curves, narrowly missing his teammate Reed Harker and James Bull, then locking up into turn two and losing several places. Big accident though with the 86, Brendan Leach hitting the barriers after touching with James Bull, losing his front wing, and that meant he went straight into the barriers. Restart then, and again, Richard Bashaw holding off Marcus Armstrong. Schwartzman holding off Korea for third place. And as the race settled down, good battle between Robert Schwartzman, who took the fastest lap of a 1.00.287 on lap 10, would hold off Korea. And Armstrong got very close indeed to his teammate Richard Bashaw, as both men desperate to win this famous trophy. But it was to go to the Dutchman, Richard Bashaw. And Bashaw's second win of the weekend means he narrows the gap in third place. He now has 5.21. Marcus Armstrong leads the championship with 591 and Robert Schwartzman still second with 550. Well, Richard, congratulations. Uh, you had to battle all the way. Two big opportunities for Marcus to attack you at the restart and obviously at the end there. Yeah, at the end, I made a, a little mistake. I mean, the tires dropped off quite a bit for me. Um, yeah, so I locked up the left front and then went over the marbles and went wide. Um, but yeah, the restart was really good, actually. As soon as I got the car, I controlled the pace. It went flat out and um, yeah I think it was was a really good race strong pace especially at the beginning start was decent not the best but anyway I came out on top just really happy you've been looking at that trophy a few times and everybody's been talking about it your name's now on it how do you feel yeah that's amazing that's really what I wanted and the championship well Richard congratulations um, it's a big trophy but it's also a very meaningful one it is it is definitely I mean when I came over the finish line I was so happy I was so different feeling than like Yesterday when I won the race, I mean, there's a lot of history on this trophy and I'm really happy to be part of it now. Tell me about the race because there was a couple of uh, touchy moments there. Uh, obviously, you had a good start, but Marcus was there then, then at the restart again and then towards the end. Yeah, it was quite an interesting race, I would say. And the start, he was, really, he was really good, but I was good enough, let's say it like that. Um, then the restart was actually really good. As soon as I got the car, you control the pace, I went flat out. Um, so I got a big gap there, so not really a lot to defend. Um, and then towards the end, to be honest, I made a small mistake. I went over the marbles, uh, I run wide, and then he came really close. Um, but yeah, I, I made sure I had a really good exit of the last turn, and at the end, there wasn't really big pressure, but I mean, he was close. I know the family and your fans will be watching back in Holland, and I'm sure you'll be calling them tonight, but uh, that's, a, that's a pretty special prize for your career so far. It is, it is really. Listen, let me ask you one other thing. You've been saying all along that, you know, you're too far behind in the points. You're not too far behind in the points now as we go to Taupo. How do you feel about the championship? Yeah, it's still far, um, but not too far, I would say. Um, anything can happen, and I was really focused on getting my qualifying right because it wasn't my strongest point. And really, really happy with the team, how they worked to get me there. At the end, we took double pole, so that's really amazing. And at the end, it gave me two wins. So this is really how we should continue, and I mean, I think we really can. What about Taupo and Manfield? Are they circuits that you go well at and you enjoy racing? Definitely Manfield. I wouldn't say Taupo wasn't the best for me last year, but anything can change. So I'm really, I'm really focused and I'm really happy to go back there. Keep that smile on your face still, Taupo. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Well, Marcus, I know you wanted that trophy bad and you made two big, big chances at taking it. Tell me first of all about the restart. Um, I think the restart was fairly standard. To be fair to Richard, he um, did a good job. Sort of surprised us all a little bit, considering everyone waits till they're up the hill to go. So, uh, luckily, I was ready, so it wasn't too much of a disaster. Um, but yeah, full credit to Richard and his crew; he's done a good job. Then, as the laps came down, uh, you did have one. Think about it uh, for sure. I mean, you you thought to yourself, "I'm going to try here with two laps to go." What was going on in your mind? I was thinking, you know, for sure, I need to have a go at Vajor. So, <laughs> <laughs> no. It was, uh, he made a mistake at turn five. So uh, he was feeling the pressure. And um, again, fair play to him, he did the right thing and he managed to keep the lees. Um, if it was the New Zealand Grand Prix, maybe I would have tried something a little bit more ambitious. But um, 
we're only one race past halfway of the championship. So, no, I'm happy. I was going to say, we are at that halfway point now. We've got two more races, or two more rounds, and six more races. Um, will you play it any differently? You've got that lead now, and it's intact. Absolutely not. Um, we've done a good job so far. Uh, me and my team have done very well, in my opinion. Uh, my engineer power has been faultless the whole time, so I'm extremely happy with everything and how it's going, so we're not going to change our approach. Celebrate with the family tonight? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> good for you. Cheers. A busy race, Robert, for everybody, especially with the restart. How was it for you? It wasn't a bad, bad race. It uh, was, was a good start, same as the guys in front. Uh, at the start, I tried to make a maneuver in turn two to Marcus, but around the outset, it was basically impossible. So I needed to give back the position and just stay behind him. First two laps was like all, all pretty close. Everybody was like trying to tackle each other. Then after two laps, everybody just, you know, made a little bit of the gap. And yeah, then uh, I decided that I need to save a bit the tires at the beginning because it was obvious that uh, no point to push straight away. We need them at the, until the end. So I made a little gap to, to Marcus, just backed off a bit. I saw them were fighting, so I was like expecting to, to see some fighting from them and maybe then I, I can catch up and make my move. Um, yeah, and then at some point, after like five laps, I started to catch back Marcus. He starts to do some few mistakes. So I was pretty close to Marcus at that point, and yeah, and then it went to safety car. Uh, red flag, well, a, a bit was scary because when you look at the temperature of the engine and it's like on the limit, it was a bit scary to restart the race. But anyways, after like two, three laps of safety car, the engine cooled down, when it was much better. And yeah, and then we restarted. Uh, I made not the best restart, of my life but anyways it was not too bad and then I just started to defend from Juan and it was sometimes it was pretty close because there was one moment where I made a small mistake in turn four I just went a bit offline and here like if you go offline you just lose all the grip and yeah in turn five he was tackling me I, I defended good and I think was a was a good thing it was a nice fight with him it was all fair and yeah and then I just went away from him and last three laps I was just cruising around and just finished the race that's it Time for a win in Tampa, do you think? Yeah, surely. And it's time to win now because I'm getting a bit annoyed of second, third and fourth places. <laughs> Need to get a bit more up than this level. But I think still anyways, good points. The team did a good job. Best of luck. Thank you.